Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted human being who is at this very moment running, well, walking swiftly through the streets of Manhattan to pick up poor Max from the ASPCA, the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, who called me. I was literally sitting in the dentist chair with the x-ray thing of pat on my, my, the big shield and the thing in my mouth. Ah, oh, yes, why didn't you come and get your cat? Well, I'm sorry, I just got my wife back from the doctor and I'm sitting in the dentist chair and I'm gonna try to get there as soon as I can. Well, at this moment, we're gonna treat your cat as a stray and he's gonna be put to sleep. This is, you know, so I'm telling the dentist, um, excuse me, that I have to go and save my cat. So I jump out of the chair, they're like, go, go, go. Thank God, some people are kind. The Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals recommends that they kill Max. Because Max has some leukemia, cat leukemia, which is gonna kill him eventually. It's like cancer, and um, I don't even know where this place is, 442 or something. Excuse me. Um, and I'm like, listen, doctor, I have probably a very similar immunocompromised system as poor Max, because we've both been exposed to the same things, almost, and, uh, you know, fortunately no one has come, or unfortunately, no one has recommended putting me down, except for the people who decided it would be better to do this to us. Um, and, uh, you know, I just can't abandon the poor creature to death. I mean, it's just wrong. Even if I can't care for him, he's better off, you know, running around for a little while. At least that's my theory, I don't know. Uh, why they don't put me down? I don't know, nobody's asked yet. But, uh... <laughs> They're working on it. That's what all this uh, crap biking us is about. Lyme disease and uh, whatnot, you know. It takes a while, but it does finally destroy your brain and your organs. So now I gotta find this place and try to rescue poor Max, who is losing the fur off his head, has a blood cancer, uh, has an infected ear, has these fucking deadly Morgellons mites, has Morgellons, he's losing weight, gets worms when he goes in the fucking filthy house, and I just want to save his poor little, you know, come on, man. I cannot do to others what I would not want done to me, even if I can't make it happen. I just can't advocate that, and, you know, right to life is, uh, Right to death is a big issue that hasn't fully been addressed in this country, and uh, it's tied in with our satanic state and our led astray Christianity ideology and uh, whatever else. I don't understand, and neither does a few other people who ask me, why is it that God allow somebody to sit there in a chair with tubes coming out of them or a bed for years as a vegetable they open their eyes nobody home close their eyes you know for years causing pain and suffering in the loved ones causing you know huge bills that they can't pay blah 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 blah, blah, blah. why why is this how should i know i'm not god but uh i, I have a feeling that a lot of these things are done by the Lord to teach us and show us uh, how to love and care for one another. And unfortunately, the upside down and backwards team wants us to learn how to hate and discriminate against one another because we're different colors, we're different ideologies from different countries, different belief structures, different, you know, gods we believe in. Come on, man. Human beings are human beings. 
Now, there may be a whole other class of non-human entities, but I'm not going into that right now. So here we are at the famous American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals who told me they're going to kill my cat if I don't get him right now. So, let's go and see if we can rescue Max. They're probably to tell me to turn this off, but... Open door, push the button, because it's like a hospital.